Tanner, meanwhile, had recovered from his ankle injury and was ready to reclaim gold at the X Games. Boy, there were a lot of questions, you know, can I, can I not? The first time he put skis on, went down the hill and there was no pain, which I think was the first time he skied after that. He said, I'm fine, I'm gonna go win. Just a great never give up attitude. I heard like this was it for Tanner, he's done, this is that, blah, 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 and like that type of shit, and like, you gotta be careful when you say that stuff. And like, it comes back to me. Cause that's not good, like for you, if you wanna see me done. Here goes Tanner Hall, qualified first in the qualifying, he wants this. So, so bad. He's an absolute perfectionist. There's the 1080 from Hall. Tanner Hall has overtaken the crown and the title of winner X at the next game 10. Tanner would go on to win two more gold medals in the half pipe, completing his second three-peat. At the same time, in the world of ski movies, he had become ubiquitous, dropping one spectacular film after another. On piste and off, he was the undisputed king of the ski world. You were back on top, winning competitions, the star of the X Games. Why continue to risk it all doing ski movies? Cause this, that's what got me into the sport. X Games didn't get me into it. Like watching Greg Stump's films. Just watching Flake and Schmidt and Mike Hatchup, Kevin Andrews, everybody like that. Just skiing. Maybe tricks and the style of skiing was changing, but that doesn't mean we need to change our culture. You know? That's why I'm still doing it. Ski movies were the dream. Yeah. No, not X Games. No, X Games just came because like that was it just like happened to be there. The second act, like the first, would also end violently, filming a massive jump for yet another ski movie. The second one, we all knew it was really, really, really serious. When they took the pictures and told him that he, he not only had two broken tibial plateaus, but he had no ACLs left. They were gone. I was worried that he was gonna have lifelong debilitating injuries to where he, he wouldn't even be able to get around himself. Repairing all the damage in both knees would require five surgeries over the span of three months. 